Hey guys, Elizabeth Quinn here again with Elizabeth Scenes and Scents. Welcome back to my channel. Please don't forget to check out my website, which is waftingwonderfulwax.scentsy.us, where I'm Liz Quinn, your lead scentsy consultant. So today I have for you a roundup of what I personally consider to be the very best that 2022 had to offer when it came to scentsy. And there are two categories here. I have brand new scents, be it new release from the catalog or a limited time offer with brand new smells. So I have a top 10 for that. That, and I also have a top 10 of returning favorites that were limited time offer within the year of 2022. So that would include Bring Back My Bars and any sort of LTO collections that are only available for a short window of time. And then I have a few runners up, which I couldn't quite fit into best of the best category for me personally, but I would consider them to be club worthy or something that you should get in the future if these bars return in next year, 2023, for whatever sort of an offer, be it in the catalog or some sort of a limited time event. So let's dive right in. We're going to do it countdown style. Now, again, this is my personal best. These are bars that I have loved. And in this top category, the first top 10, this is going to be including the new releases from the catalog. So there were 10 spring, summer, 10 fall, winter, and things like your uh, scent of the month, and then seasonal limited time offers like your summer collection, your harvest trio, your holiday trio, that type of thing. Then my next stack are going to be primarily bring back my bars because I think it's not really very fair that we just sort of, we get all excited about them for a minute and then because they're gone, gone, we don't talk about them again. So I'm going to give you my top 10 personal favorite there. And as I said, the runners up, which are good bars and reasons why maybe they didn't make my top 10, but I would totally recommend that you club or stock up on them. So number 10 at the bottom spot of my, and this is in specific order, new release or brand new sense for 2022 would have been the spring summer 2022 catalog paradise petals. I love this bar, you guys. The reason it's in my number 10 spot is it is not a boomer, but it is a good performer when you let it cure. This scent is light. It's almost tropical. It has white blooms and orange zest and maybe a little bit of like a creamy coconut background. When I first started melting this back uh, early, what, February or early January to be able to evaluate the new releases for a video, I loved the scent, but I was very nervous about performance. As it sat and cured over a few months, I have found it to be a medium strength performer if you put at least two cubes of one of these in a warmer. And my very best memory of this was two cubes in a warmer here and two cubes in a warmer on my mantle in the summertime. I don't remember which warmers I had out, but it was the perfect strength. And this scent just makes me feel like I am on a beach and it's sunny and it's beautiful and it's summery outside. So Paradise Petals was my number 10 pick because it is a new release from 2022 spring summer catalog season. Usually, I am gambling because you just never know with Scentsy, usually those bars come back the next spring summer to at least make one more full catalog appearance. So I did not club Paradise Petals. Now, I'm totally gambling on this because it has shown up in clearance, but you know, if we don't get more bars, I'll live. I have a few. The next one is probably my most controversial bar in this stack of my personal best top 10. And that would be TR or TRA, I still don't know how to say it, and Coconut from our Island Days collection in August. Oh my gosh, I totally fell in love with this bar. But this is a bar I think most people didn't really care for. Oh my gosh, to me this just smells like summer suntan and sunshine and loveliness. I just could not get enough of this. It's in my bi-monthly club and unless I get a huge stack and I get tired of it, which I don't really see myself doing, so I'll probably stay in my club for forever. So the tiara and coconut just, it just totally made me happy. And all of the bars that are in these stacks, they just make me happy, they relax me, they make me smile or it's nostalgic or totally yummy. So this one was a winner for me. My number eight spot isn't because it isn't a fabulous bar. It's just because I'm realizing as I'm melting it, I really like it, but I'm not going to melt it as much as I thought because it's a heavy scent that I get, I enjoy it, but it's more like a craveable smell. I'm not gonna warm it all the time. And that is Frosted Vanilla. And honestly, there are 25 or 27 bars, I don't remember, in total on this table 
The light blue bars that Scentsy produces for winter are usually not my favorites, and I've got a couple of them here. So I really give Scentsy props for the fact that in 2022, for me, and I'm very difficult to please with these icy light uh, conceptual scents, they did a couple that knocked it out of the park for me. So Frosted Vanilla is beautiful. Probably in January I'll melt it quite a bit. It has vanilla, it's got a nice smoky birch, and it's got mint, and it's just complex. It's very Christmassy, it's very January, February also, and it's incredibly elegant. So that was my number eight. Now, my number seven is my very favorite spring-summer bar of anything that was on this table. And I guess it qualifies as spring-summer just because of when it came out. You could do this any time of the year. And that is Vitamin R, otherwise known as Relax. This came out in our vitamin collection, I think in February. You guys, this is so good. The only reason it's not higher on my rankings is because I am a fall winter girl at heart. And anything that is fall or Christmassy is just going to completely pass this kind of thing by on the line. But Relax is the best bar that I have reached for again and again and again all throughout the year. So it has like a cashmere and a vanilla and sort of like a, a sweet sugary amber. It's absolutely amazing. It's so sad that it was just a limited time offer and more than likely unless you clubbed it you'll never see this again. It's fantastic. It's sort of along the lines of Hendrix and Satin Sheets but it's in a little bit of cashmere and corduroy, not really, but it is phenomenal. So if you do not have this in your club and you ever see this pop up in some sort of a, I don't know, a flash sale or even on the black market, absolutely pick it up. One of the, this would be in my top five of all bars for 2022 in a sense, because it's my favorite of all the spring summer uh, time period releases. Next is a bar that is very much love or hate, and that is the wonderful, rich maple rum cake. I have three more of these coming in my December emergency club order. This is a bar out of all the ones on this table that smells awful on cold. I'll give you that. This thing smells almost like it's stale. <laughs> You put this thing in the warmers and this mapley, rummy, deep, dark, spicy goodness rolls out and it is one of those just like it's perfect for my house kind of bars. It's absolutely in my club, not going anywhere. Out of the Harvest and Holiday Trio, probably as an individual bar, like of all six of them, this ranks the highest for me. It's amazing. The next one on my list, we are down to the top five of new scents for 2022. And this one I know is controversial. A lot of people are getting notes in this that I'm not. I am loving cinnamon pine cones. This absolutely went in my club. It's going to stay in my club. And it is phenomenal. I love woodsy. I love spice. And I think this pine cone and cinnamon and sort of tree thing, it's totally nostalgic. It's absolutely perfect. The throw is great. The strength is, is perfection. It lasts a long time. I can't say anything but good about this, but many people are not loving it. So I put it safely in my club and Cinnamon Pine Cones is going to be on my roster absolutely for the holidays for many years to come. The next one on my list made it this high up in my ranking of number four because even though it is a fall winter new release bar, I will melt this all year round. And that is the beautiful Blackberry Spice. I love spice, I love woods, I love woody. This has all of those, plus a beautiful fruity layer that gives it a homey quality. Blackberry Spice is spice and woods and everything nice. So it has the blackberry, it's got cedar, it's got a little bit of spiciness, and it even has like a hint of blueberry, which makes it, to me, very year-round. I will absolutely club this. I'm sure it's going to go away for spring-summer. Even though it's a new release, I am not gambling on this. This one is staying, and I am loving it. That is the perfect hearth and home all year long rainy day kind of a smell. Now next, this is the bar that my husband and I agree on as really fabulous from 2022. Now the first time that I warmed this, I didn't think I liked it. Then over the course of the year, and oddly enough, it was a new release spring summer. They carried it through to the fall winter catalog. So of all the bars right now, this one, if it leaves in February, which I want to explain, usually Scentsy rolls over their catalog on February 1st 
and then August 1st, but they are pushing it back to pre-COVID, like a few years ago, kind of a schedule where we started the spring summer schedule on March 1st and then the fall winter catalog schedule on September 1st. So you actually get an extra month right now, this one time, where you're gonna be able to get your fall winter bars a little bit longer because we're not starting our spring summer catalog until March 1st of 2023. So this bar, you don't have to like run out and club it tomorrow, but pay attention to what's retiring and isn't carrying through to the spring summer season if you love it and club it in February or earlier if you just don't wanna forget. Okay, this bar is the fabulous white amber antique. This bar, my husband, if you watched my What I've Been Warming a couple weeks ago, you know what happened. He went to one of our clients' homes, who's now one of my Scentsy clients. She's a wonderful lady, really fun. And he could not believe how good her house smelled, thought someone had just left with fresh cologne on. And she's like, no, your wife sold me the bar, honey. <laughs> so anyway, this white amber antique is probably one of the most amazing masculine smells. I just had to, I had to wrap my head around its scent profile and in the middle of the winter, it did not appeal to me, but man, when I first tested it out for you guys on the channel. At this point, I'm in love and this will be getting to go in the club. And as I said, this is the one my husband and I agree on. So that's why it's such a high ranking. This is number three for the whole year of 2022. Number two, drum roll please. Had a very hard time deciding on these. And remember, these are new scents because if you watch my channel, you know what's coming in the returning scents as number one. It's just a no brainer. But the fabulous caramel chestnut, which comes as a brick for everyone and as a bar in Scentsy Club, don't forget to club your holiday LTOs. I don't know if December 30th or 31st is gonna, 30 days in December, right? I don't even know anymore. Everything's a blur. I believe the last day of December, some of our holiday type LTOs are going to disappear. I don't have the discontinued list for our month yet, but please, please, please start a club or check on your club. If anything like the holiday bricks is something you fell in love with, you can put the bar size into your club. So caramel chestnut is hands down. If this last one hadn't shown up as a scent of the month, this would have been my winner for the whole year. Absolutely, but it came in number two. Which means I'm such a happy girl because you guys know how much I love this. Caramel Chestnut is staying in my club for forever and forever unless they put it in the catalog. This is the perfect blend of woody earthy chestnuts and gooey sweet caramel and it is phenomenal. So this brick, which comes as a bar and club, it's simple, but it's rich and it's perfect and it is my number two, almost tied with number one. And my number one scent of all the new scents of this entire year, and yes, it is really only a holiday scent, but I don't care, I so fell in love with this, is the beautiful sweet orange and evergreen. If you guys want my first reaction, go back and watch the scent of the month video from November and you will see what happens to me. I just can't. This bar is right up there with my number one in returning favorites. This is nostalgic, this is Christmas, this is my childhood, and it's just an absolutely gorgeous scent. So please try Sweet Orange and Evergreen if you like evergreen smells at all. It's phenomenal. So that is my number one scent for 2022. Now when it comes to returning favorite scents, and I'm gonna have to wait until my husband is calling in and we are recording, and I'm not going to stop the video this time. So we'll just take a, we'll just take a sip. And we will just let life run right on by, right? Anyway, so I have the stack of returning favorites. And again, this is a countdown from 10 down to one. We had, for me, some of the most amazing bring back my bar roster. Now I cannot even tell you how excited I am about the January of 2023 release of our bring back my bars. Like my club is in so much trouble. I just, I can't even explain that one to you. But when it comes to everything from 2022, in January of 2022, they offered us our regular bring back my bars and 10 extra ones that were club exclusive. And those club exclusives are where some of my all time favorite retired, never to be seen again scents were. And I was so excited. So those are here. There are a couple from the summer bring back my bar. And then, you know, 
you know which ones are at the top of this pile that are returning favorites, sentimental holiday classics that I am so glad that they brought back. So number 10 out of all of the returning favorites is The Beautiful Mandarin Moon. This was in the January Bring Back My Bar of 2022. And I had never smelled this. This is one of those bars that people would talk about. Oh, have you smelled Mandarin Moon? Oh, Mandarin Moon is amazing. Oh, it's so good. And it is. It's all that. It was worth all the press. This bar is very much like a cup of constant comment tea, just in a bar with no, no like tea spices. But oh my gosh, guys, this is like harvest orange perfection with the ginger and the spices. It's beautiful. The next one on my list is something where I was really, really late to the party. And that is the LTO of Jack's Obsession. And I'm just really not, you know, I'm not a Halloween person. I don't do the movie. So I wasn't really attracted to trying things that were in the collection. But everybody said this bar was amazing. And they are right. It's very similar to Cider Mill. But it's light, bright, juicy almost like a green apple with harvest spice very hard to explain actually this super bright day glow green color really captures the essence of how jack's obsession smells so it's light but it's a very good scent and you put enough in the warmers and it's just gorgeous in your house especially like in september now the next one is one where I almost missed out on it. I threw this into my club at the very end of January last year, not even remembering whether I liked it or not. And that is the mysterious Southern Evening. So we've got 10, nine, this is number eight. Oh, you guys, the reason this makes my top 10 of returning favorites in the LTOs is because it's so complex. Like you can melt this for three days and get something different every single day. It is feminine, but it's masculine. It's colony, but it's sweet. It's summery, but it's like kind of mysterious and deep. It's gorgeous. So Southern Evening made my list. Now the next one was, I believe, it was definitely in the January Bring Back My Bar. And I think that it was actually in those extra 10 that I was so happy about. And that is Toffee Butter Crunch. Now I love me a good bakery scent. And I miss Toffee Butter Crunch so much. We had had it in the catalog years ago. And then it was before we had Scentsy Club, I'm pretty sure. It just dropped off the face of the earth. And I was so sad because most of our caramel toffee scents, I like all of them. But they just don't have that extra depth that's le that lets them go for several hours. This one does because it's got candied walnuts and gooey toffee. It's so, so good. Oh, so Toffee Butter Crunch is next. So we are down to 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, number 6. If they had not just come out with White Amber Antique, I would say this is my favorite man smell of all time from Scentsy, but I've got like two of them here that are vying for that position. And that is the gorgeous, smoky, mysterious Hendrix. This is such a good smell, you guys. Oh, it's so warm. This is a middle of the winter, lots of snow outside. You just want to feel cuddly, but also a little bit hippie-ish sophisticated at the same time. I know it's got patchouli and pink peppercorn and definitely like a vanilla and an amber and a sandalwood all rolled into this bar. It's amazing and it's so warm and inviting. So that is Hendrix. The next one, I really had a hard time ranking these two, but I think I melt it more than Hendrix, which is why I gave it a slightly higher ranking. And that is World Traveler. And this made it into that special 10 extra bring back my bars in January. This bar. It's like, it's almost a cologne scent. It's almost like an antique scent and it's very old world with a lot of oak and really deep dark berries. It's so good. So this one is in my bi-monthly club. Oh, and I'm wrestling with whether or not to give it the boot because of some other things that are coming in January, but I know I will not be happy if I do it because this was an August scent of the month years ago. I'd never seen hide nor hair of it in between. And if I let this go, it's never gonna come back. So good. All right, so we are down to the top four of limited time offers that were not brand new of 2022. Number four was from Bring Back My Bar, and that is the gorgeous Simply Vanilla. The reason that it made my list is because it is so classic. It's not all that much in the clam, kind of like maple rum cake, not quite as dramatic, but you're kind of like, yeah, it smells like vanilla. It's good. Put it in the clamshell and all of a sudden it's like, wow, vanilla can be everything. And I didn't know it. It's so absolutely lovely. So Simply Vanilla is the most classic, elegant, like multi-purpose scent on this table. And it is a winner. So that would also probably make my top five now. 
the three that are left, two of them are sentimental holiday favorites, and one is just like the best bakery scent of the year. So Saint Knickerdoodle is incredible, and it is definitely way up in the top of my list. So this would be, I don't know, I'll try to do like a, a top five at the end if I remember. Oh, you guys, we had this in the Sense of the Season years ago, and I did miss it. It is the most lovely apple strudel, baked apple, powdered sugar, baking at grandma's, Santa Claus, kind of a smell ever. It's just gorgeous. And the last two are the best bakery scent of 2022 for me. That is the gorgeous, thank God we voted it back, lemon coconut chiffon from the summer bring back my bar. This bar just knocks it out of the park for me. Oh, it smells so good. It really captures custard and lemon and coconut and chiffon cake and butter and, oh, it's so good. Oh, and it's just happy. This is just happiness in a bar. So this one is way, way up on the top of my list and it's not coming out of my club. So best bar, hands down, of the entire year of 2022. It tops the new release because of its history with me is my beloved cozy fireside and i have been melting it liberally for christmas oh you guys it's just come back home to mama beautiful wonderful christmas nostalgic cozy fireside there's nothing like it it smells very much like holly berry from yankee directly connects me to my childhood Christmases, the candles that we would burn up on uh, the wood stove, not while it was in use, I promise. But these old, like, waxy, cheesy-looking paraffin messes, they would, like, drip all over the place, they had this smell. And this is just the most amazing home and hearth scent Scentsy has ever produced for me personally, and it's a home run. I've got two of them in my bi-monthly, no, two of them in my quarterly club ain't going nowhere. So that is my favorite bar of the entire year. So top five, and then I'll do my honorable mentions so that just you might consider them for clubbing. So the two that are tied, because I really can't decide, my very top spot would be Sweet Orange and Evergreen and Cozy Fireside. Next would definitely be Caramel Chestnut, so that's number two. Number three would probably be the White Amber Antique. Number four would be Lemon Coconut Chiffon. And then, oh, number five is hard. It's either Simply Vanilla or Saint Knickerdoodle because they're just like the best. So I like those also, both of these, for different reasons. This one's far more versatile, but this is absolutely phenomenal. So those are like my personal best of the best of the best. And if your favorites are not here, please let me know. What were your top two or three for the entire year? And if you don't like any of the new release and maybe you found one of our catalog staples, because I've got lots of those that I love too, you can add those in the comments, please. It's just this video could go on for forever. But other things I would say maybe consider clubbing or looking into if they come back spring, summer, next year. I'll start with a couple. Well, one of them I'm hoping might come back next year. Back in the summer categories, I really enjoyed Kukui and Coconut, and it is in my club. The reason it didn't make my top 10 is performance is not very good, but it's really good. It's like this warm, nutty, like Hawaiian tropical kind of a smell. It's really nice. And I am hoping this will come back in our next spring summer catalog. This is also a new release, the beautiful Summer Moonlight, which just like White Amber Antique, when I started melting these as new releases, I'm like, no, nah, I'm not going to like that. I loved it after I had it for a while. This is a bedroom scent for me. It is the most beautiful sandalwood sweet pea and strawberry smell. It's phenomenal. I have a pile of it. I didn't club it because I'm taking a gamble, just like with Paradise Petals, that that will come back. So I hope to see these spring, summer season of 2023. Now, right now, because I'm recording this before the first of the year, we still have our holiday trio of scents. And I have actually... One of the Harvest Trios here, because I already talked to you about Maple Rum Cake as one of my top 10. Cozy Vanilla and Pumpkin is very nice. The only one out of all the Holiday and Harvest Trio that I liked it, but I just didn't love it, love it, was the Wild for Fall, which is odd because it seems like it would be totally up my alley. I do like it. I have several bars, but there's something about it that just irritates me after I melt it for too long, so it just didn't make my top top. But Cozy Vanilla and Pumpkin. This is my favorite pumpkin scent from 2022. I just, as far as anything new. I really enjoy it. And to me, this is like a September scent because there's sort of this bridge between summer and fall that's kind of awkward. And I feel like this perfectly fits that. So it's vanilla and it's pumpkin and a little bit of spice. 
it's just cozy and gentle and I'll probably actually melt this in the winter also. So that one made my recommendations, please consider it kind of a deal. Then all three of these, none of them were like absolute top 10, but every time I warm them, I am pleased with them. So the cranberry orange cider, I'm betting this might show up in the catalog next fall winter. This is just a solid scent. It's beautiful. It's totally company worthy. It's a nice balance of the oranges and the cranberries. There's not much spice in this. It can get a little bumble, no Elizabeth, bubble gummy for me, which is why I didn't make my top 10, but it's excellent. And then we have the maple vanilla glaze. And the reason this didn't make my top 10 is because it's super strong and just dies. But oh, it's so good. If you want it to smell like Saturday morning coffee, pancakes, and bacon, like none of that's in this bar, but it just, it just goes with those. It's so, so good. And it's a boomer for a couple of hours. It's just lovely, just weekend um, breakfast perfection. And then here's the other blue bar. And I really debated whether this should go in the top 10. Swirling snowflakes is surprisingly good. I've been melting it more the last couple weeks. I put four cubes in my Florida room and let it go for a couple of days. This is a performing icy smell. Half of the time you get one of these icy smells, you can't smell it worth beans. This thing is great. So it's got eucalyptus flower and like an iciness to it. That is lovely and it performs well. So I'm actually going to be putting a bar of this in one of my clubs. I'm just trying to decide which one. And last but not least, the very last bar on this table is a wonderful nostalgic connection for me to the holidays. And that is Disney's Season of Magic. If you don't like regular tree scents, this is so good. It's so happy. And I will be putting this in when the kids and I watch our Christmas specials. Unfortunately, my girls have been really struggling with a really nasty cold these last couple weeks, especially my younger ones. So we've been putting off a lot of Christmas traditions. So I am waiting to melt Season of Magic and watch some of those wonderful old Disney classics. So this is Elizabeth with Elizabeth Scenes and Scents. That is my top. I think it's 25. Like I said, I might have thrown in a couple extras and it got up to almost 30. But that's just how I am. But my favorite bars of the whole year are definitely Sweet Orange and Evergreen, Cozy Fireside, and um, White Amber Antique and Caramel Chestnut. Like, phenomenal. So if any of those are available to club or to order and they pique your interest, please look into that before the end of the month. And then some of it will probably roll into January. I'm just not sure how much. So I will be seeing you uh, hopefully right before January 1st with a haul of the Bring Back My Bars. And I'm hoping to put my husband back on the channel with me as long as our schedules coordinate. And uh, I think he's already plotting the return of Mr. Quinn, if you can believe it. So have a Merry Christmas, you guys. I think there's only one more video that'll go up before Christmas and that'll be my last what I've been warming. Then I will be taking a break. There will not be a what I've been warming video for the week between Christmas and New Year's. If I have any LTOs where it's pertinent that I get a video out like uh, scent of the month or bring back my bar, I will get those up as soon as I can. But other than that, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. It is my Christmas present to you so that you can really evaluate things over your Christmas holiday into New Year's break. Thank you so much for an amazing 2022 with me as uh, Elizabeth Quinn learning to be a Sensi consultant. It's been my first full year learning how to be a YouTuber. I have such a delightful time interacting with all of you between Instagram and my actual website with you as customers and YouTube. I treasure all of you. God bless and have a merry, merry Christmas.